Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you! <laughs> oh dear, Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh! Hi, Peppa! <laughs> hi, George! Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. <laughs> With a one and two and one, two, three, four! Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time! Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes! Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up <laughs> in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it. Well done, Peppa. Oh. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry. Happens all the time. That's okay. I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping all the way. Pop, pop, popping bubbles. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop pop popping bubbles. Ooh. And that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Peppa is taking a big oh. runner. But the sand oh. is very <laughs> slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well done, show. George. I'll <laughs> just have to keep trying. <laughs> Pepper is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. <laughs> Whoa! Oh! My 
ice cream. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. <laughs> You missed my ice cream cone this time. <laughs> oh, oh dear. My turn, Pepper. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Pepper's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Pepper <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing, but there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Today, the cruise has stopped on an island, so Peppa and Granny Pig can go surfing. But there aren't any waves. Where did all the waves go? It looks like the water is too calm for surfing today, Peppa. You can help me and George collect shells instead, if you like. Shiny! Whee! Hi! Oh, hello, everyone! What? I have a little paddle boat if you want to try it, Peppa. Oh! Peppa is very excited to try the paddle boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, please! <laughs> and Granny Pig can ride with me on my jet ski. Oh, but um, Granny Pig isn't sure she'll uh, enjoy Miss Rabbit's jet ski. Uh, Peppa uh, and Granny Pig have put on some life jackets oh. and helmets to keep safe. <laughs> now they are ready to ride on the water. Peppa's paddle boat has pedals to make it go. That's right, Peppa. Pedal forwards to make the boat move forward. <laughs> Does it go Off any we go! <laughs> Have you found any colourful <laughs> shells, George? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one's perfect. <laughs> Wonderful. George is finding lots of shells oh. on the beach. <laughs> How about we use the shells to make a picture? Peppa oh. is having lots of fun <laughs> out on the water. <laughs> Granny! <laughs> but Granny Pig is looking rather seasick. Too fast, Miss Rabbit! <laughs> George has made a dinosaur out of shells. Ooh, dinosaur! How clever! It just needs one more special shell for the eye. Well done, George. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's wave has washed George's shells back into the sea. Hello, oh. George. Hello, Grandpa. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but look, your special shiny shell is still here. Shiny! Wow. I like your sand dinosaur picture, George. George's <laughs> shells have left a dinosaur shape in the sand. Dinosaur! Peppa <laughs> loves having fun at the beach. Everyone loves having fun at the beach. <laughs> wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens. <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bob. 
she is bobbing the carrots whenever they pop up. Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. More tokens. Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. Know just the game. <laughs> Pepper and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh, oh, well done, Edmund. This room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper, and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Peppa is very good at swinging. Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea. Whee! Hooray! We did it. Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh, I've got it! But Edmund Elephant is very good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. 
Edmund. And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Peppa and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Woohoo! Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before, and I am scared. Huh? Oh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. <laughs> Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Oh, too high! Too high! Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Whee! Do a loop de loop. Oh! <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. <gasps> Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. <gasps> and that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well... I suppose that might keep my mind off things. And so Peppa, George and Madam Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work, the attention to detail. Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Already? But I was having fun. That wasn't scary at all. I told you, flying is really fun. Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy, tasty food. Yummy, tasty food. Today on the cruise, yum, Peppa yum. and her family are at a very Special ah. type of restaurant. This is a special type of restaurant called a buffet. Just take a plate and choose the food you want to eat. Enjoy! Oh, oh goody! The restaurant mm. buffet has lots of different foods to choose from. What would you like to eat, Peppa? <coughs> Spaghetti is my favourite. Right you are. But we mustn't take too much. We can always come back and get some more. Oh, good idea. <laughs> and what would you like, George? Juice! <laughs> Thirsty, are you? <laughs> I think we can rustle up some orange <laughs> juice. Let's see here. Aha! The orange juice machine is very loud. And it hasn't made very much orange juice at all. Oh. Juice! We'll just have to make some more. Delicious. I can't wait to... Finished! Oh. Mm. <laughs> you were hungry, Pepper. Can I get some more now, please? Oh. 
Of course. Let's go. Hooray! Grandpa Pig is still trying to make George a cup of orange juice. Oh, dear. Could we have some more oranges, please, Miss Rabbit? Right away. Ooh. Pepper has found a very special pancake machine. Just one pancake, please, Mr. Robot. I can always come back and get more. Mm -hmm. Splendid! Aha! Granny Pig is ah. very excited ah. to eat her spaghetti. Ah! Finish! Oh. Thank you, Pancake Robot. But now, Pepper is thirsty mm. too. Can I get some juice as well, Granny? Of course. Grandpa Pig can get you some. I do wonder what's ah. taking him so long. Mmm. <gasps> Grandpa Pig has finally made a cup of orange juice. In fact, Grandpa Pig has made lots of cups of orange juice. Oh. The machine has finally stopped ah. making orange juice. Phew. Silly Grandpa. You don't need to make all the juice. You can always come back and get more. Peppa loves the buffet restaurant. Mm. And George really <laughs> loves orange juice. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Me! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go. <laughs> and the brakes make it stop. <laughs> And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn. Whee! It's just like riding a bike. Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dear. I think I went a little bit too fast. Now... How do I turn around? <laughs> <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Woohoo! Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble oh. making her go kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. Today, Peppa's playgroup is having a very special lesson. Today we're learning about the 4th of July, American Independence Day. What's Independence Day? 
Independence Day is a day when Americans <laughs> celebrate all the things they love about their country. And we have a very special visitor. Happy Independence Day, everyone! Ooh, <laughs> Mr. Bull has just been on holiday in America and has agreed to share some of the things he loved there with us. Let's start with an American party called a cookout. We can cook together using my new barbecue. I'll be the grill master. Mr. Bull's barbecue is very big. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bull. But we will have our barbecue later and outside. Righto! First, we are going to dress up. Peppa and her friends are dressing up in the colours of the American flag. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> the grill master and his barbecue are fired up and ready to go. Is it time yet? No, Mr. Bull. We must decorate first. Oh, of course. Back to the grill I go. Wahey! Next, everyone is hanging red, white, and blue decorations. Hooray! Now, Peppa and her friends are making an American flag. How many stars does an American flag have? Um, lots and lots. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. That's lots and lots of stars, children. The American flag has 50 stars. One for every state, you know. Now, is it time for the barbecue yet? Hmm. Yes, it's time. Hooray! <laughs> Mr. Bull is very excited to use his barbecue. Hope y'all ready for some authentic American barbecue! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! But the barbecue has burned all the food. Mm, what can we eat now? Don't you worry, I'm not just a grill master. I'm also a delicious all American apple pie master! I love apple pie. It's the most American food there is, especially with fireworks. Yeah! Everyone loves fireworks and apple pie, especially on Independence Day. Today, Pepper and her family have come to London to watch. Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> and there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. Looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then take the red train. Yes, well done, Peppa. Off we go. First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, Ticket Robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> the train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train oh. is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. 
The red train, that's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look, and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Pepper is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. No, no, no. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. Sorry, Pepper, My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh. So you're not a robber? Nope. Oh. Well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK. Bye, Pepper. Ooh! Great work, Officer Pepper. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go. All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe, and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. Are volcanoes real, Madam Gazelle? They are. Ooh. But do not worry, children. There are no volcanoes close by. Hooray! Except the little pretend ones that we are going to make for today's very special science experiment. Oh! We will make our volcanoes using glue and newspaper. Like this. First you dip the paper in the glue, and then you stick it all to the beaker, and voila! A volcano! Everyone is enjoying making their volcanoes. The glue is very sticky and messy. <laughs> And soon, they are all finished. <laughs> Wonderful, children. Now it is time to paint your creations. <laughs> Let's make ours red, Peppa. Oh, ours 
can be blue. Green, like a big tree. Real volcanoes are dark and grey with red lava. But Peppa and her friends are making their mini volcanoes bright and colourful. <laughs> now it is time for the science experiment. But first, everyone must put on special gloves, glasses and coats to make sure they are safe. You all look like wonderful scientists, children. Now we are ready to make lava. <gasps> but do not worry. The lava we are making is just pretend and very safe. <laughs> First we add some vinegar to our volcanoes. Be careful not to spill. Uh, uh, Perfect. And now I will add a secret magic ingredient to each of your volcanoes. Nobody knows what the special magic ingredient is. Finally, take your cup of baking soda and pour a little inside the volcano. Then stand back. Madam Gazelle's volcano is erupting, just like a real volcano. Your turn, children. Hooray! <laughs> wow! The lava is red. Ours is blue. Candy Cat and Gerald Giraffe's lava is green and very foamy. I think we made too much lava. No, Candy. You made a muddy puddle. Everyone loves making volcanoes. But everyone really loves making colourful, muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and her family are out in the car. Oh. But they're having a bit of trouble. Oh, dear. The car won't start. You've broken down. Oh. Don't worry. I'll take you to the garage. I'll be back in a jiffy. <laughs> Mr Bull is towing the car away to be fixed. George and Pepper like being towed. Hmm. Aha! Oh dear. I see. Well, we can fix it. Oh good. But we'll have to order a new part. It won't be easy or cheap. Oh, oh dear. How long will it take? It will take oh, as long as it takes. But how will I get to work? There's lots of cars you can use while yours is being fixed. Follow me. There's lots of spare cars at the garage. Pick any one you like. <gasps> A motorbike. This is perfect. Oh. Let's take it for a test drive. Whee! Daddy Pig likes riding the motorbike. Hello. But motorbikes don't keep you dry in the rain. Hmm, maybe we need something a bit tougher. Let's try this. Pepper has found a monster truck, which is very tough. I think a monster truck might be a bit too tough for what we need. Sorry. What about something nice and spacious, like this bus? <laughs> ah. Mummy Pig likes the bus very much. Ooh. Ah. It's ever so roomy and peaceful. Oh, dear. But everyone thinks it's a real bus. There's only one car left for Peppa and her family to try. It's a bit smelly. That's because it's my lorry for collecting the recycling. So you can't take that one, I'm afraid. I'm not sure we'll ever find a car as perfect as our car. <laughs> well, that's lucky. You took so long to pick a new car that we managed to fix your old one. Hooray! 
Thank you, Mr. Bull. Thank you, Grandad Dog. <laughs> Peppa's family like driving different cars, but they like driving their family car most of all. Today, Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp <laughs> away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in a muddy puddle. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's <gasps> lots of colours. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting juice. <laughs> This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Pepper loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. <sighs> hmm. Something else is missing. Oh! Something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh, no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> 
this room is blue. So let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fort. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for an adventure to the seaside? Hooray! Yay! Peppa and her family are going out for the day. Oh dear, I think I forgot to put petrol in the car. Never mind. Let's take the train to the beach. Hooray! Peppa and her family are catching a train to the seaside. Tickets, please. We're going to the seaside. And Mummy didn't put petrol in the car. How exciting! <laughs> I love the seaside. I think it's time for some lunch. Pepper, <laughs> let's look for the dining carriage. <laughs> Daddy Pig and Pepper are walking through the train to the dining carriage. It is very wobbly. This carriage must be for passengers who want to sleep. <laughs> Whoa! This carriage must be for people who want to play on the train. Wow! Hi, Danny! Hi, Gerald! <laughs> Whee! <laughs> uh -oh. Oh. This must be the cinema carriage. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Peppa and Daddy Pig have found the dining carriage. Ah. This carriage must be for people who want lunch. Oh. Is that your tummy rumbling, Daddy? I'm afraid the train has broken down. Oh dear, we'll have to take the bus. Now, Peppa's family are waiting to catch the bus uh, to the seaside. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. oh. All aboard! <laughs> Next stop, the seaside! Hooray! <laughs> The bus has broken huh. down. I think somebody forgot petrol again. <laughs> now how will we get to the seaside? Well, we can walk. The seaside is just down the hill. This was the best trip to the seaside ever. I can't wait to see how we get back home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> No splashing, Mr. Bull. Whoops! Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's okay, Mr. Bull. 
The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running. Sorry again. Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is... Everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh! Oh! Have a splendid time, Mr Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Right you are, Pepper. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. Good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead. Followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Granny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. the finish line. It's neck and neck. Who will come out on top? It's a draw. Everybody wins. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <clears throat> no splashing. <laughs> Today, Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh! <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Ooh. Ooh. Yum! Peppa has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Pepper thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was very yummy. What else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Pepper. I have a baby on my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <laughs> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, 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 a little here. And a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Fox? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. 
I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Pepper. Oh. <laughs> Mummy Pig is dropping Pepper off at Playgroup. But Mummy Pig is also looking after Baby Alexander. Ooh, my. Mind if I clean up Alexander's smelly nappy before I go, Madam Gazelle? I insist. Oh, can we help clean him up? Please! <laughs> OK. Can you pass me the nappy cream from the changing bag? <gasps> and a fresh nappy. <laughs> Everyone likes helping Mummy Pig change baby Alexander's nappy. There. Fresh as a daisy. Can baby Alexander play with us? Please! Well, I don't see why not. Hooray! Peppa is showing baby Alexander all her favourite bits of the playgroup. These are the books. <laughs> baby Alexander likes all the books. This is the whole world. <laughs> and he enjoys spinning the globe. <laughs> This is Madame Gazelle. Bonjour, little Alexander. Oh! But he likes Madame Gazelle most of all. Uh -huh. <laughs> Perhaps it is time for some painting. <laughs> Everyone is painting pictures of themselves, Ooh. called ah. self-portraits. I'm Peppa Paint. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. I'm Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Susie! <laughs> and I'm Gerald! <laughs> well done, baby Alexander. It looks like a tasty apple. Baby <gasps> Alexander's painting has reminded <laughs> Pepper that it's time for lunch. It's baby Alexander's mm. lunchtime too. He's eating special food for babies. Here comes the train, Alexander. Choo-choo! Is baby Alexander's food nice, Mummy? He thinks so. Oh. oh, my. Mind if I clean Alexander up again before we head off? I insist. I'll get the oh, bag. Oh, gone. Everyone loves having baby Alexander at playgroup. Hooray! Hello, I'm King Pepper. It's another day at playgroup, and everyone is pretending Pepper is the king. I'm the king, and I say everyone should eat lots of yummy food. <laughs> of course, Your Majesty. Hooray! <laughs> king Pepper is enjoying oh. being king of the playgroup. She really likes all the yummy food. I've brought you some raisins, <gasps> Mrs. King. Mm. Oh, thank you, Candy. I love raisins. Mmm. But I am getting very full. Um, can I be the king for a while if you're full, King Pepper? Good idea. Here you go, King Pedro. <gasps> now, Pedro Pony <laughs> is the king of the playgroup. I say everyone has to hop. Mm. Why, Mr. Highness? Because hopping is fun. <laughs> King Pedro is right. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Very good hopping, Danny. Well, thank you, King Pedro. Hop, hop. <laughs> King Pedro? You said everyone should hop. That means you should too. Oh, that's right. Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> Would you like to be the king now, Candy? Meow. Yes, please. Ha, 
<laughs> now candy is the king. <laughs> oh, I say everyone has to be really quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Now, everyone has to be loud! Now, quiet! <laughs> now, loud! Everyone is enjoying King Candy and King Danny's rules very much. Now George is the king. Hmm. Daisy! Hooray! King George says that everyone should dinosaur. Everyone loves being king of the playgroup, but everyone loves being dinosaurs even more. Hello everyone, I'm Pepper, the dentist. I'll help you look after your teeth. Whoa! Today, Miss Rabbit has come to teach Peppa's playgroup about teeth. Peppa is pretending she is a dentist. <laughs> Got you. For you. Thank you, Peppa. Well, now that you've caught your teeth, <coughs> who knows what we can do to look after them? Um, um, go to the dentist? That's right. Who has been to the dentist before? Me, 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 me. Gerald Giraffe has not been to the dentist before. Can I show Gerald what it's like at the dentist, Miss Rabbit? I've been lots of times. What a great idea! <laughs> Peppa is pretending she is the dentist and Gerald is the patient. Hello, Mr Gerald. Please sit on this enormous chair. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Dentist. Here is your apron. <laughs> <gasps> Why do I need glasses, Mrs. Pepper? For this big light. Please open wide, like this. Ah! Uh, so I can see your teeth. Ah! Uh... Pepper is using the torch to see Gerald's teeth. You have very nice teeth, Mr. Gerald. So you get a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> Hooray! Well done, Pepper and Gerald. <laughs> Does anyone know a way we can look after our teeth at home? Um, um, uh, we can brush our teeth. That's right, Susie. Brushing our teeth keeps them clean. Shall we practice brushing our teeth? Yes! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is giving everyone toothbrushes so they can practice brushing their teeth. First, we get the brush wet. <laughs> <laughs> then, we put some toothpaste on. Everyone is adding little dollops of toothpaste to their toothbrush. But Candy has added a big dollop. Now what do we do, class? We... Brush! <laughs> Remember to brush the front and the side, tops and bottoms. Well done, everyone. <laughs> everyone did very well today, so everyone gets stickers. <gasps> Peppa likes pretending to be a dentist, and Peppa really likes stickers. Grandpa George, where are you? <laughs> Today, Peppa is playing in the garden with George and Grandpa Pig. <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> found you! Peppa has found George and Grandpa Pig in a bush. <laughs> So cosy in here. Yes, reminds me of the garden den I had as a boy. Can we 
make a garden den, Grandpa? Yes, indeed. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone is wearing special gardening gloves and boots ah. to make the garden den. <laughs> First, we need to dig a hole with these spades and get lots of sticks and twigs. Peppa loves digging the hole with Grandpa Pig. <laughs> oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Um, well done, Peppa. And George loves <laughs> gathering sticks. <laughs> I think that's enough sticks. Well done, George. <laughs> Now Grandpa Pig is hammering the sticks into the hole. Stand back, everyone. <coughs> Finally, Grandpa Pig makes a roof out of sticks. And Pepper and George cover the roof in lots of leaves. <laughs> Why do we need the leaves, Grandpa? They keep the den nice and warm. Look safe and sound. <gasps> well done. <laughs> You'll need this before we go in, Pepper. Grandpa Pig has given Pepper a special backpack. <laughs> Everyone is very happy with their new garden den. Um, Grandpa, what do we do in the garden den? My favourite thing to do in a den is have a <gasps> picnic. The special backpack is full of fruit from the garden. Pepper and George love having a picnic in the garden den. Mm. Pepper, oh. George, where are you? <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Everyone loves having a picnic in the garden den. Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. <laughs> Don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to play Vegetables in Space at my house? Yes, yes please. please. <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Peppa is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! Follow me! Pew, pew! Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon. Just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Woohoo! Oh. oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> oh dear, there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. Beep, beep. Hooray! Um, what are we looking for on the moon? Beep, the only thing on the moon is the moon. Beep, Papa. The moon is made of cheese. So maybe we can find some for lunch. Of course. <laughs> what was that? Was it a moon monster? No, Peppa. I am <gasps> your daddy. And I've brought you all some cheese sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon. 
But everyone loves lunchtime even more. Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. <laughs> Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Peppa. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is! Hooray! Delicious! <laughs> dinosaur! George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have, hmm, that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. <laughs> Oh, it's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. Oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything! <laughs> <laughs> it's Valentine's Day. Peppa and George are making a special dinner Whoops. for Mummy and Daddy Pig. Grandpa Pig is helping. My goodness! We're making special Valentine's Day pizzas, Granny Pig. Because Valentine's Day is all about showing others that you love them. I know! We can make the pizzas heart-shaped! <laughs> now, we toss the dough up into the air, just like they do in Roma. That's a place in Italy, you know. <laughs> Aha! Hmm. Whoops! <laughs> just like in Roma. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. We can cover the lumpy bits with some vegetables <gasps> from the garden. Oh. Mummy and Daddy Pig are not sure what's going on. Peppa and George are collecting vegetables. The pizzas are going to have lots of toppings. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take the vegetables inside. Peppa and George add vegetables to their pizza. I know how to make the pizzas even more special. We can add Mummy and Daddy Pig's favourite foods. Good idea, Peppa. What are their favourite foods? <laughs> Spaghetti and chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We 
should make the pizzas look like Mummy and Daddy. Peppa and George make faces with the pizza toppings. <laughs> now they're really special. <sighs> oh, George! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> Here are your extra special Valentine's Day pizzas. <sighs> Chocolate cake? My favourite! <laughs> dinosaur! A spaghetti dinosaur! Thank you, Pepper and George. <laughs> they look too good to eat. Mummy and Daddy Pig think their Valentine pizzas are very special indeed. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family are at the museum. Look, George. This dinosaur has a sister. And a mummy. And a daddy. It's a whole family of dinosaurs. <laughs> Peppa loves the museum, but it is now closed. Thanks for coming. See you soon. But I don't want to leave. We don't have to leave, Peppa. Tonight, we are having a sleepover at the museum. Ooh. Hooray! Oh. Oh. What shall we do first on our sleepover? Hmm. Let's have a midnight feast. Yum, yum. Dig in, everyone. Huh? Oh, this orange is rather hard. Oh. All the food in the midnight feast is made of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> what shall we do next, Peppa? Huh? Peppa? Mummy Pig can't see where Peppa has gone. Here I am. <laughs> I am a Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Grr. Viking. <laughs> <laughs> and I am a Viking. Uh, I mean a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Everyone is having lots of fun running away from the woolly mammoth. But all this chasing has made everyone quite tired. I think it's time for bed. Let's find a nice spot to go to sleep. <laughs> Good night, everyone. It is now morning, and lots of visitors have come to the museum. Look at these Vikings, Granddad! Moo! What a great mammoth! It looks so lifelike! Everyone thinks Peppa and her family are part of the museum. Uh, huh? What's going on? Uh. Well, that's not a Viking! That's Peppa! Oh dear! It looks like we didn't just sleep over at the museum, but we overslept. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Hmm, something else is missing. Oh, something to eat! <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. Wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! 
Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> oh no! The ball bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold. <laughs> There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. <laughs> oh, I can fit through anything. <sighs> <sighs> Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. <sighs> Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Phew. Ooh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, almost got you! Pepper is trying very hard to open a piñata <laughs> and get the treats inside. Because today, Pepper's playgroup are learning about a Mexican holiday called Cinco de Mayo. Oh, children! We need more decorations for the classroom to make the class look extra oh. happy. So let's make some pom-pom flowers. Pom-pom! <laughs> I like that word. Pom-pom! Pom-pom! Just attach the cardboard stem to the middle of the ball of tissue paper and voila! Wow! I will help you. Uh, <laughs> hmm, this is tricky. Oh, dear. <laughs> Everyone has made a lot of pom-pom flowers. Well, did we make too many? Of course not. Now our classroom <laughs> looks extra, extra happy. <gasps> Next, we're going to make some delicious guacamole. Guacamole? Mooly? Guacamole! Mm. It's a Mexican treat made of avocados, and you eat it with carrots or <gasps> cucumber or special crisps called tortillas. Oh. Guacamole! <laughs> guacamole! 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 <laughs> Madame Gazelle is peeling an avocado and adding some lime juice and salt to the bowl. Now we just need to mash it all together. <laughs> oh, mmm, guacamole! Would anyone like to try some guacamole? Yes, please. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Yummy guacamole, mm. yummy guacamole. <laughs> Wonderful, Peppa. Another way to celebrate Cinco de Mayo is to sing. Yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole, yummy guacamole. And dancing is another important part of Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> Pepper has hit the piñata and all the sweets are pouring out. 
Peppa is enjoying her first Cinco de Mayo and really enjoying... Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, uh, whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Peppa, don't drop the egg. OK. <laughs> Slow down, Danny. But don't go too slow. Slower. Faster. Slower. No, faster. <laughs> <laughs> no! <gasps> Phew! <laughs> we did it! We won the race! <laughs> it's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. <laughs> Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss... We'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. We lost. Squeak. But we had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! The Pink Team and the Blue Team love Sports Day. Everyone loves... Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playground. Ah. the pancake pictures? Yes, we can. We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Peppa pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What is it? <laughs> what are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pan.
pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. Rainbow Pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Colourful! Let's make the biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madame Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. Oh dear. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. <laughs> Pedro Pony, Candy Cat, Mandy Mouse, Gerald Giraffe and Danny Dog are playing football. Look, Mummy, my friends are playing football. Hello, Peppa. Do you want to play with us? Yes, please. Whoever scores the best goal wins the trophy. Ooh. Peppa loves shiny trophies. Do you want to join our team, Peppa? No, thank you. I will play on my own. I don't think you should play on your own, Peppa. But then I can win the trophy all for myself. Peppa is going to play all on her own against everyone else. Ah! Oh, dear. Good try, Peppa. Have another go. Hmm. Maybe I need to kick it harder. <gasps> um, almost. Here you go, Peppa. Maybe if I use my other foot. Whoa! Oof. You have to score with the ball, not your shoe. Squeak! Hmm, this is too hard. Why don't you have a go in goal? Good idea, Mummy. I'll be a great goalie. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Goal! Mummy, why can they score a goal but I can't? Because, Peppa, football is all about teamwork. And you can't work as a team if you don't have a team in the first place. <laughs> um, can I join your team, please? Of course you can. We've got a spare shirt just for you. Ruff, ruff. Hooray! But who will play in goal? I will. Just you try and get past me. <laughs> <laughs> you scored the goal, Pedro, so you get the trophy. But we all scored the goal together, Peppa. As a team. That's right. You all win the trophy. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter, children! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oops! Ooh. <laughs> Happy Easter, Mama <laughs> Peppa and her friends are doing lots of Easter activities today. Today, I have a very special visitor for you. Miss Rabbit! 
Hello, children. The Easter Bunny sent me to play some Easter games with you. <gasps> Hooray! But first, we need to make you all honorary Easter Bunnies. <laughs> oh, I see you're already an honorary Easter Bunny. <laughs> now, who'd like to decorate some Easter eggs? Hooray! Peppa and her friends are painting wooden eggs. Remember, children, you can decorate your Easter egg however you like. <laughs> Hello, Mr Egg. <laughs> oh dear, it looks like Danny Dog was given a real egg by mistake. Danny, what happened to your egg? I think I painted it a bit too hard. <laughs> Good job I brought a spare. <laughs> All right, bunnies, follow me. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have come outside to play a special Easter game. Now we're going to play bunny bowling. Roll your eggs along the ground and see how many bunny pins you can knock down. Oh. <gasps> Good try, Mr Egg. Like you all win! Yay! 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 Well done, everybody. You've all earned a special <gasps> Easter medal! Hooray! And best of all, these medals are made of chocolate. Mmm. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Mm. Is there a prize for eating the most chocolate too? Peppa and her friends love Easter very much indeed. Oh. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to wear their clothes backwards today. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Susie. Goodbye, Peppa. Oh. Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is backwards day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Well, have fun. <laughs> we won't. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it. Try to catch me. <laughs> it's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh. Coming. <laughs> <gasps> I know. Let's play backwards. In the park. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. <laughs> Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh, whoa! Whoa! Whoops! Sorry! Peppa and Susie Sheep spend Backwards Day playing in the park. Backward swinging feels the same as forward. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards! No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch! 
Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie's <laughs> sheep enjoyed backwards day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> Baby Alexander and his family have come to say Happy Christmas. But Baby Alexander isn't happy at all. Why is Baby Alexander crying? Christmas is fun. Well, this is Baby Alexander's first Christmas. He doesn't know how fun it can be yet. Then it's got to be extra special. I'll show him all my favourite Christmassy things. I love Christmas dinner. It has carrot, potato, sprouts. <laughs> No, you're supposed to eat it, not throw it. Let's try something else. Wrapping presents is really fun. You can put the bow on top. No, we need to wrap them up so other people can open them. Baby Alexander thinks unwrapping presents is much more fun than wrapping them. I don't think Alexander likes Christmas at all. Really? He's been having fun with you all day. But I wanted it to be extra special for him. Spending Christmas with his cousin is extra special, Peppa. But he's doing it all wrong. Alexander is just a baby. Maybe you need to find some simple things he can do right. Christmas for babies. Oh, I have some ideas. <laughs> Baby Alexander enjoys passing out the Christmas presents. Thank you, Alexander. This one's for Mummy. And he really likes Christmas crafts. <laughs> well done, Alexander. And music. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Hooray! But he enjoys spending Christmas with Peppa most of all. Now we'll always remember Alexander's first Christmas. <laughs> Today, Peppa is enjoying the flowers in Grandpa Pig's garden. Oh, <laughs> bless you, Peppa. What is all this yellow stuff, Grandpa? That is called <laughs> pollen. Bees carry it around the garden and help flowers grow. Ooh. Thank you for helping the flowers, <laughs> little bee. <laughs> Careful, Peppa. You mustn't touch the bumblebee. But why, Grandpa? It's so fuzzy and cute. Because you're very big and the bee is very small, so it might be a bit scared. And bees can sometimes sting when they're scared. They can? Yes, so you must be very gentle with them and let them have lots of space. Some people can even be allergic to their stings. Oh. 
Peppa isn't sure she likes bees anymore. But bees are also very helpful and kind to the world. They're the reason we have honey. <laughs> I love honey. Bees make honey in hives, just like this one. Can I see? Can I see? Whoa there. There's lots of bees in a hive, so you'll have to change first. Ta-da! I mean, buzz buzz. Pepper, George and Grandpa Pig are wearing special thick clothing that protects their heads, hands and bodies from being stung. Splendid! Grandpa Pig is showing Pepper and George a part of his beehive. All of those bees live in that little house? Yes! This is where they make delicious honey. Bees all work as a team to gather food and protect each other. Like me and George. <laughs> We're just like bumblebees. <laughs> buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> what happens to all the honey that the bees make? Well, we put it in jars like this. Grandpa Pig is collecting the fresh honey in a glass jar. Then we make yummy honey sandwiches for our lunch. Mmm! This is the best sandwich ever. Thank you, little bee. Peppa loves honey sandwiches, and Peppa loves bees for all the kind things they do. Oh, another apple! Oh. By the power of vegetables, I am here! One moment! Whoa. Um, now I am here! Wow! Whoa. It is I, the superest superhero ever! And I've come here to teach you all how to be superheroes too! Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are all dressed as superheroes. Your first lesson of superhero school is to use your superhero powers to do something kind for the world. <gasps> Susie is being kind to the worm by helping to dig its hole. Freddy is being kind to the plant by watering it. And Pepper is being kind to the whole world by making sure all the rubbish is recycled and not on the floor. You all did so well in your first lesson. The next lesson in superhero school is to finish this obstacle course and save Madame Gazelle from the supervillains. On your marks, get set, go! But everyone is too tired to run. Has anyone had any fruits or vegetables today? I didn't want to eat my carrots today. And I left my apple in my lunchbox. Aha! Fruits and vegetables help us stay healthy and give us super energy. Superheroes ah. must have lots of energy to run and jump. Madame Gazelle has set up a table with plates of delicious fruits and vegetables to eat. Peppa and her friends have eaten their fruits and vegetables. Now they have lots of super energy and are ready to try again. My superheroes! Congratulations! You have all been super today! And every superhero gets a hero's reward! What would you like? Are there any more carrots? By the power of fruits and vegetables, Peppa and her playgroup have saved the day. 
Peppa and Emily Elephant are having lots of fun at the beach today. They love the water. <laughs> Look, Emily, I'm a fish. <gasps> blob, blob, blob. <laughs> I have an idea. <gasps> Peppa, <gasps> how did you do that, Emily? Did you hold your breath? <laughs> no. I can use my trunk to breathe because it's so long. Oh. <gasps> What's the matter, Peppa? I wish I had a trunk like Emily. So I could breathe underwater and look at the fish. I know. Come with me, Peppa. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> this long tube goes in your mouth and means you can breathe underwater. Like Emily's trunk. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like Emily's trunk. <laughs> Why does your voice sound funny, Peppa? It's my snorkel. It means I can breathe underwater like you. Look! <gasps> no, Peppa! Yuck! Oh, Peppa, you must be careful. Yuck. The snorkel didn't work. And the water tasted horrible. That's because it's salt water, Peppa. You need to keep your lips shut tight around the snorkel so you can breathe through your mouth without letting water in. You have to take long, deep breaths, like this. <sighs> Peppa practices taking big, deep breaths. <sighs> Do you want to try again? Um, OK. I did it! I saw lots of colourful fish! Yes, well done! And thank you for helping her, Emily. <laughs> and to get rid of the taste of the salty water, George and I thought you might like some... Ice cream! to get ready for playgroup, Peppa. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello, Santa. Back already? Today is Peppa's first day back at playgroup after the Christmas holidays. No, Mummy, it's me. But Peppa <laughs> is not ready for Christmas to be over. <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's a wonderful outfit, but I don't think it's right for playgroup. But I like dressing up as Santa. I don't want Christmas to be over. It's so much fun. I know, but playgroup can be lots of fun too. You'd better go and pack your backpack. Good morning, Peppa. That's a very full backpack you've got there. <coughs> and quite heavy too. <sighs> Phew! What have you got in there? Just some tinsel to make the playgroup sparkly. I see. A toy I got from Santa. Oh, my! Some candy cane. Delicious! Oh, and some Brussels sprouts. Hmm. Maybe you should take some things that are a bit more useful for playgroup. Like what? Maybe some crayons for colouring in, some yummy fruit, and a book to read. Oh, Santa brought me that book. That's a good idea. <laughs> Time to go, Peppa. <laughs> oh, can we ride the sled to playgroup? I love going fast. Whee! <laughs> I don't think so, Peppa. There isn't any snow. Even the snowman is almost gone. 
I think we'll have to take the car today, Pepper. Oh, OK. I know your sad Christmas is over, but I promise Playgroup can be just as fun. Everyone at Playgroup is very happy to see Peppa this morning. Welcome back, Peppa. Did you have a fun Christmas break? I... <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Do you want to play dress-up with me? Oh, yes. I love dressing up. <laughs> or we could read a book. I got a new book from Santa. <gasps> Let's race each other on our scooters. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Playgroup is just as fun as Christmas. <laughs> Peppa really loves Christmas, but she also... Go long, Peppa! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her Playgroup are learning about American I football. You. That is a very bouncy egg. <laughs> this is not an egg. This is a football. No! Footballs are round. And you don't throw them, you kick them. This is a special football from America. American footballs are egg-shaped. And you mostly throw them. Nay! <laughs> Silly egg ball. <laughs> Egg ball! Egg ball! Egg ball! <laughs> Peppa and her playgroup are dressed in American football kit. You all look great in your kit, especially you, Pedro. Every team needs a mascot. <laughs> now you're ready to play American football. Um, I mean, egg ball. Egg ball! Ho! <laughs> <laughs> to win points in uh, egg ball, you have to be really good at catching the ball. <laughs> Got it! Oh! Oh! <gasps> You can also get points by kicking the ball through a big goal like this one. Ooh! Peppa, would you like to kick the ball into the goal? Kicking? Like normal football. I'm good at that. <laughs> I don't think egg ball is as fun as normal football. Susie, would you like a turn? Peppa has caught the ball, so she gets a point. I did it! Now for the best part of American football. Uh, I mean, uh, egg ball. <laughs> After you score a point, you do a dance. Peppa and her friends... <laughs> Peppa and Susie are pretending to be police officers. <laughs> police, we'll help yeah. you. <laughs> Thanks, police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Bye. Nino! Oh, my! What is it, Madame Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry. Me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you oh. seen the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well, we'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. 
Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Peppa and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ow! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning. Then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. I think you would make very good police <gasps> officers. <laughs> <laughs>